this first exercise is going to provide you instruction on how to typically open the Excel program in addition to exploring the ribbon and changing the view once the program is open. So due to technical issues, it won't actually allow me to show you how you would get to Excel from this screenshot or recording. I can kind of show you by pointing to some areas once I click too far, it shuts this recording off. So on most computers, you're going to have a start menu down in the lower left hand corner. If you're using a Microsoft Windows computer, that is generally where you're going to go. Once you click, it should open up a menu and that should be in alphabetical order. And you would go to the E and find the one that is Excel. If you can't find it there, sometimes it is stored under the M's under Microsoft Office, and you can find all of the programs, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, under that component. Or you should have a, a magnifying glass. You could also do a quick search, type Excel, and it should find it on your computer. Once you've found the Excel program on your computer, then you should be able to click on it and eventually you'll land on the screen that you are seeing now or something similar. Prior to getting here, you may have some pop-ups. I know that happens a lot in our classroom environment even. And so you'll just want to either click OK or close out of them if there are some additional advertisements or pop-ups that pop up. Eventually, you should work your way to what you see now and it should give you the option to click on a blank workbook. Sometimes on your computer, you may even see multiple other options of additional templates, which are showing not available at this time for me. So you may have more than one option at this page, but you should definitely at least see blank workbook. One other thing I should mention here is that I am working on a Microsoft Office 2016 version. So this is Excel 2016. If you are using anything older, there may be some slight discrepancies, but most often it's almost identical and you should be able to follow along fairly easily. But there could be some minor differences as we go along. So you'll just want to keep that in mind. So to begin a new workbook, you would just double click blank workbook. So here's our workbook. If you've taken our word class, if you haven't, it's online on our YouTube channel. I encourage you to check it out. Word and Excel have a, some similarities. As with Word in Excel, this is your ribbon. And so we're going to talk about your ribbon and kind of explore that. At the very top of your ribbon, you have tabs. And so as you click on the different tabs, your ribbon will change and it'll give you new options. Typically in the classroom environment, I will usually provide a three part instruction like go to the insert tab, find the illustrations group and then click pictures. So, each of these are the group. So tables, illustration, add-ins, charts, and it's separated by a horizontal line. So that gives you an idea if you know where the group is, that the button that you're searching for is within that area. And then the third part of the instruction is the actual button you'll click. Sometimes, people lose their ribbon, or maybe you don't even see your ribbon right now and you're wondering why you don't see that. Don't pay so much attention to this just yet, but sometimes you might just see a page like this. And what that means is that your ribbon is not locked in. It has not been pinned so that you don't lose it. If you click home, your ribbon will come back. But the problem is, is when you click into one of these cells, now our ribbon disappears. 
So for most of you, if you are not seeing your ribbon now, you'll want to click home. If when you look at this page and you come over to the far right and you see a thumbtack, that means your ribbon is not locked in. You're going to want to lock your ribbon in so that your ribbon doesn't disappear every time you click into a cell. So we'll just click the ribbon, or the pin, I'm sorry, and then now it should lock in. So now I clicked into the cell, our ribbon stayed. And so that's really the way you'll want to keep your ribbon is locked in. And you'll know it's locked in if it just kind of has this little up arrow. You don't got to worry about it. But if for some reason you accidentally click the little up arrow, that will unpin your ribbon. You'll go to home and you'll click the thumbtack again to pin it back. So I feel we're in a good place now to really dive in to the ribbon a little, in a little bit more detail here. So I would just go through and on your own, when you pull up Excel, you know, explore, you know, what options you have within each segment. So you've got page layout, you've got formulas, data, review, and view. And this in files one you should not actually have on your computer. This is something internal, so don't worry about that. At the top of the tab, you will have what's called the quick access or launch bar. And this is where your save, undo, and redo buttons are. At the very bottom, I'm going to show you how to change your view. The very bottom of your page here, you'll have a kind of a grid. That's your normal view. And then you've got page layout. And then you've got your page break view. So if we wanted to change the way that this page looked, we could click on these different views to see how that changes it. So this one shows the header. Or if we go down here to the footer, our page break view. I don't know why it's not showing as much, I guess, because we don't have anything entered here. So that will show you just kind of how you could change the view once you have data entered. This now also is showing us where the page break is, this dotted line. So if you're doing a document and you're over here to J, you know, you would realize that this is going to now be printing on the second page because this is where our page break is. There's another way that you can switch your view, and that's by going to the View tab. And in the Workbook Views group, you have Normal, Page Break View, and Page Layout View. So it looks very similar to what we found down here. And, and that's really the key, is that almost anything you can do within the program, there's usually multiple ways to do that. And more than one way that you can accomplish the same goal. So I'll show you typically multiple ways or the shortcut ways in addition to um, the way that maybe is most common. That will wrap up this first exercise. So we've gone over how to get to the Excel program by finding it on your computer through the start menu or the search. And then we've talked about the ribbon, how to lock your ribbon in, your tabs, the quick launch bar, and how to change our views either from the bottom of the screen or by clicking on the view tab.